Kevin bites apparently, so it might oh, be I'm worth at least tars him actually because he is quite bitey, isn't okay. he? So I've covered in cooking oil, it hasn't done any good at all. Please don't right, cook he, me. He might well struggle a little bit because mm. they don't like the ones that are. Come on, Foxy. What is he doing? Sticking his head through it. Well, it's probably some food or some, you know, food. something the other side or whatever. It's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. I just you can't, <laughs> can't believe that it's even put its head through the hole, let alone, I mean, it's just never seen anything like it. With the cub now unconscious, we can initiate a plan of action. We have a tried and tested method that we developed when rescuing deer stuck in railings. And we're hoping that a scaled down version will free the fox. What we're trying to do is basically sort of encase his head in plastic um, to make a smooth route back. The problem is it's easy to push something through one way um, and it obviously his head and his ear, um, skull's got through because it's a streamlined way of doing it. Let's just try the thinner one but... The trick is to find the right thickness of plastic that's strong enough. Then more importantly push the whole tube through with the animal's head inside. The problem is you're going you're to have too much plastic. Do you know what I mean? You're going to take up space with the plastic. Right. You just need to go forward, really, don't you? Just no, stand, you don't, don't you? You need to go backwards. Yeah. 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 Twisting through very slight angle back and forth, Goff. Yeah. That's we need to hold it. Go through, Simon. There's no way that's going through. Feel the size of that. It's cheekbones. Mm. I don't need to do what we do and cut around there, which we can do. We can cut all around there if we have to, yeah. but it's going to be a, It needs to be in these tight the whole time, yeah. Um, just, 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 just try one. Can you hold the tire really steady, Goff? Yeah. Got the tire? Yeah. All right, darling. I don't think it's going to go through, mate. She's so. gone about half an inch since you said that. Yeah. Can you reckon, Sarah? It it's going, but... I don't see how the hell that can go through. I'm not... I mean, the We've size only got about another quarter, I don't know. OK, well, you just have know. to try it, then. Yeah, let's, let's go, go for it. it, mate. Let's go for it. Go on, it's moving. Go on, go on. A bit more weight. Speed. Go on, Speed. go on, go, 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 go. can't go quick, mate, don't you? Go on. Go on. Come on, let's come in. Come in. Keep going, son. Yeah. The cardboard's yes. just said that's the trouble. Stop for a minute. Okay. Right. Now, now give it. Can you pull that cardboard no, off? Don't pull the fox. Go on, keep going. Keep going, you did it. Done it. Go for that. Right, let me get him on oxygen. I didn't like that, Dad, at all. No. Still breathing right, look. Really. Can you draw up um, half a million decks? Probably going to go and shut them. So swollen. Yeah, nothing's going to be treated. Yeah. I should feel better in a minute now. Just half a million. giving him some steroids because any restriction around the head area has made his um, face swell up and um, the cheeks are very 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 swollen and obviously that's potentially put quite a lot of pressure on his eyes as well so it's going to be very sore. You can see now all of the swelling around the side of his face and about beneath his eyes it's very very It's going to cover his poor little head up. It's very oily. That's a brain move, isn't it? What was it? Cooking oil. <laughs> now the muzzle is on, we can safely clean up the remnants of Goff's initial rescue attempt. Oof. Well. But use the same idea if you use Ali with deer, because you can do it and they just come straight Yeah, down. those panels are always down. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the call was 
got stuck in a fence. Was it really? Yeah, that's, that's why we went out. But well, you could. Cutters and everything. Mm, sort of fence, isn't it? Sort but, of. but look at the size of that hole. How on earth? Let's take him over and see if he's actually moving right. We've done everything we can for the young cub. All he needs now is a quiet place to rest and recover. We'll check on the cub later in the day, and providing the swelling has gone down, we'll take him back to where he was found.